Jordan Sengundo joins us now with the game time weather and what to expect back here at home. Yes, you know, it's been a beautiful but very warm day today. So for fans out there at the, uh, Levi Stadium, they'll be seeing uh, some pretty nice conditions for some football tonight. Uh, the 5 o'clock hour kicking off 84 degrees and we'll slowly see things cooling off uh, throughout the evening tonight with the wind coming in from the northwest at around 10 miles per hour. Sun setting uh, a little after 8 o'clock tonight. So perfect for the game if you're watching it out there at the stadium. Or if you're just at home. Now, if you're closer to home here in our area, let's uh, give you a live look outside through our Stockton camera. You can see the camera shaking a little. We've got a little bit of a northwest wind filling in there as well, but plenty of hazy sunshine and warm temperatures. They show you current numbers on the board at the moment. Right now, we got 97 in Sacramento, Stockton at 98, as well as for Modesto. Marysville coming through at 103, and up in South Lake Tahoe, we're currently seeing a temperature of 89 degrees, just a degree shy of their uh, high temperature of 90 today. Now, humidity here in town is at 26%, our dew point at 57, and the winds there in the Sacramento area. Coming in from the south southwest at 10 miles per hour, and our pressure is falling at 29.88. And we did see warm temperatures across the board again. We hit 103 in Marysville, 100 for Sacramento, and out towards Stockton. So no records here, but South Lake Tahoe tied their current record there at 90 degrees. We saw upper 90s in the foothills, and temperatures tomorrow will be very similar. Maybe even possibly a degree or two warmer. Now, right now, we're still dealing with some hot temperatures, so it's going to take some time for things to cool off into the evening tonight. We're already seeing numbers anywhere from 10 to 16 degrees above where we were this time yesterday. So, that high pressure really peaking today and tomorrow. We'll still see some warm temperatures into Monday before relief is on the way. Now, the winds are now still very breezy out in Fairfield at 30 miles per hour, so it's going to usher in some of that onshore flow winds here into the valley. It's going to continue, though, with the smoky and hazy skies for tomorrow as well. We've got that ridge of high pressure just really sitting over uh, much of the west. And we're also picking up a few isolated thunderstorms. Nothing too intense, but we're seeing some instability in the atmosphere. And right now, that's what we're, uh, we're seeing developing on our satellite and radar that should linger into tonight as well. So for the northern San Joaquin Valley, temperatures will be in the upper 60s, low 70s, even mid 70s out towards Turlock. And another warm day with sunny and hot temperatures in the low triple digits. But areas like Marysville and Woodland, you're closer to 108 and 107, 104 here in Sacramento tomorrow. A very light south wind coming through at around 10 miles per hour. Smoky, sunny, and hot in the foothills tonight. We'll see mid 70s for much of the foothills with temperatures averaging in the upper 90s to triple digits across the board tomorrow with light winds. So it's definitely going to be warming up very quickly. We'll see temperatures tonight in the upper 50s. Tomorrow, upper 90s to 102 in Quincy. It's going to be another smoky and hazy day for the greater Lake Tahoe area with temperatures in the lower 90s tomorrow. We'll be seeing those numbers tonight, though, in the mid to low 50s. Out towards the coast, sunny skies and the wind still a bit breezy. Out in uh, San Jose, we could see gusts up to 20. San Francisco, 5 to 25 mile per hour winds. Low 70s tomorrow, mid 90s out in Fairfield. So seven day forecast. Here we go. We hold on to the upper 60s and 70s for the Bay Area the next two days. The foothills though, we hold on to triple digits. And then by Tuesday is when we'll finally get some relief from the heat. And in the Sierra, we're going to hold on to the low 90s. You eventually get into the mid to low 80s by next Tuesday and Wednesday. But the Valley, yeah, 104 tomorrow, 102 on Monday. And then Tuesday into Wednesday, we sort of back down into average temperatures there, 92 to 94 degrees. And then we get right back into the mid 90s. Overnight lows will also cool down tonight, closer to 70. We'll get back to the 60s by Tuesday. Belina?